Before our project, we built a hamster-powered nightlight. Our goal was to be able to use the hamster to create mechanical energy by running on a wheel to then create electrical energy that will light four LEDs. It works the way a generator would, except it doesn't store or transfer energy. We chose this project because we are interested in looking at different ways to generate alternative energy or renewable energy that doesn't harm the environment, and this was a fun way to start. Generators are used to power houses through a power station, also called a power grid. We wanted to make a way that you could power your house in environmentally safe ways. During this project, we looked into all the ways we get energy. We get the largest amount of our energy from oil, followed by coal, gas, then hydroelectric power. The global energy mix is dominated by fossil fuels. They account for more than 80% of our energy consumption. Burning fossil fuels emits a number of air pollutants that are harmful to both the environment and public health. The most eco-friendly ways to get energy are geothermal power, hydropower, wind power, and solar power. There are already some people who use these types of energy to power their homes, the most common being solar panel power. We are focused on looking at a version of our project people can use in their homes to generate their own electricity. If we were to base this on a larger scale, we are interested in how people can power their homes with their own generators that are eco-friendly. People already use solar and wind power, but the wind isn't always blowing and the sun always sets, which is why generators are important. They can store any extra energy that isn't used and save it for when the sun and wind are gone. We were also focused in looking into ways to turn mechanical energy into electricity. Also, adding solar panels to your house can be expensive. Solar panels can contain toxic materials like lead that can leach out as they break down, and when these panels enter landfills, they can create new environmental hazards. We also looked into renewable energy, which is energy that is generated from natural processes that are continuously replenished. This includes sunlight, geothermal heat, wind, tides, water, and various forms of biomass. This energy cannot be exhausted and is constantly renewed. Alternative energy is a term used for an energy source that is an alternative to using fossil fuels. Generally, it indicates energies that are non-traditional and have low environmental impact. The benefits of renewable energy are generating energy that produces no greenhouse gas emissions from fossil fuels and reduces some types of air pollution, diversifying energy supply and reducing dependence on imported fuels, and creating economic development and jobs in manufacturing, installation, and more. In our project, the way we created electricity was by passing magnets over coils. The way this works relates to Faraday's law of induction, which describes how a change in a magnetic field, which is caused by the magnets, can generate an electric current in a conductor, which are our coils. Mechanical energy is the energy that is possessed by an object due to its motion or due to its position. Mechanical energy can either be kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion, or potential energy, which is the stored energy of position. Objects have mechanical energy if they are in motion and or if they are at some position relative to a zero potential energy position. A hammer is a tool that utilizes mechanical energy to do work. The mechanical energy of a hammer gives the hammer the ability to apply a force to a nail in order to cause it to be displaced. Electrical energy is a type of kinetic energy caused by moving electric charges. The amount of energy depends on the speed of the charges. The faster they move, the more electrical energy they carry. Electrical energy can be seen in nature in a bolt of lightning, which is a large number of electrons flowing through air all at once. During this project, we learned a lot about the different types of energy, how they affect our environment, and how they give us power. If we had more time for this project, we would improve our design. For example, a problem we had was that we weren't generating enough energy to light the LEDs, so we would work on making the coils more effective. And something we could do to fix that is have an iron core in the coils, and for a different option, maybe look into making the coils spin instead of the magnets.